your brain knows exactly what type of animal this is. There is nothing on earth quite like the elephant. Well, not anymore, that is. There have been many elephant-like animals, collectively known as the order Proboscidea, of which one living family remains, Elephantidae. And looking at the various ancestral forms, we can see evolution happening with our own eyes. Evolution happens by slow, gradual changes to an organism, generation to generation. These changes accumulate over millennia and eventually cause significant differences in speciation. Most creationists use the, but it's still a dog, argument to explain away observed evolution just because in their minds it isn't enough change. They don't see an elephant evolving from a hippo or something, so they dismiss it. Okay, so they have different tusks and skeletal structures. They're still elephants, right? At what point do we admit that it is so significantly different from modern-day elephants and accept that they evolved? This particular form of creature evolved quite distinctive ways of feeding. One was to take his mouth to his food, but the successful one that remains today is the one where he brings the food to his mouth. It makes your brain hurt just to look at them like this. It is understandable that the mind has trouble accepting that the elephant evolved from an animal that looks almost nothing like it. But when you see the steps, the gradual change over time, how each species was so similar to the one before it, but that if you go back far enough, you see easily how these small changes eventually made big changes. Evolution happens. We can see it.